somehow this little guy turned 30 last Sunday. And because it is very popular to share your 30 things you learned before turning 30, I thought maybe I could do a video like that as well. The only problem was that I didn't want to make 30 things because that would take like a half an hour as a video. So I thought maybe 15 would be enough. But then I thought that, well, 15 will take 15 minutes at least as well. Maybe we do 10 cool things. And then I thought, well, from the 10 things, you will probably maybe remember five of them. Why not immediately do it five? So here we go, the 30 minus 25 things I learned before turning 30. Number one, you don't have to know it all. Although I really enjoy reading a lot of books and I have read quite a few books in my life, you don't have to know it all up front. In the past I was really consuming a lot of articles and reading a lot of tutorials and over time I learned that it's actually better to uh, learn for the thing you want to achieve right now. So I read about email lists and building a SaaS and this and that. Once you come to a point where you really need the knowledge, um, you actually forgot most of the things and you can start again and then read it once again. So there's this great thing called internet. I don't know if you've heard about this, but you can basically look up everything. And that's also true for my basically whole entire developer career. I don't know everything about JavaScript, I don't know everything about Ionic, but I know where to look it up. And I think you don't have to feel bad about not knowing a certain thing, so um, right now if you would ask me to uh, draw a quick sword with pen and paper, I think I couldn't uh, do it. I know this might be really relevant for some companies uh, in those interviews and some really require these things, but I still think for my life it is a lot better um, to be upfront, be honest with what you don't know and know how you can get there really fast. You don't have to know it all upfront, you can always learn new things no matter how old you are. Wisdom number two comes from one of my favorite persons, you might have heard me talking about this, and it is you can't connect the dots looking forward. So when I started blogging five or six, I don't know how many years ago, everything that I have now, this YouTube channel, my membership site, um, being a self-employed developer, that nothing of this was an option at that point. I never knew uh, that I would get to this place uh, based on what I started at that time. Everything you do develops some self-dynamic, I would say. For example, at some point you might pick up a language or framework to develop mobile apps for whatever reason at that point. And then maybe half a year later, a year later, you become better, um, you develop an own application that might lead you to some new path, um, you get a huge job opportunity just because of that skill. So whatever you do, you can't really predict the future, but at this point today you can prepare for a good future by selecting things that might become relevant in your life uh, later down um, when you become uh, as old as I am. Or perhaps you're already a lot older than, well, you can still pick up a lot of new things. I Wisdom number three, habits are bigger than plants. This is actually something that I learned over the years and I have a lot of bad habits and I also have good habits like um, keeping this five minute journal every morning and every evening. I got my, um, I think I've shown you this before, my personal winner's bible which I take a look at every morning. These are just habits I've established over the years, like the morning routine I have, that help me to live a better day every day. And just this year, in the beginning, I had the plan to lose some weight. I was struggling with this for a long time, and I tried to have huge plans, like at the end of the year I want to have lost. The thing is, this plan didn't really motivate me to take action on a daily basis. And therefore, what I did instead is coming up with habits like eating regularly uh, an apple a day instead of some sweets in the break, eating less at every meal, just some small habits uh, in terms of sports, going for a walk. These small habits uh, help you on an everyday basis to move closer to your goal. And once you realize this concept and incorporate it in other areas, you can stack your habits in different areas and just 
naturally move forward to whatever goal you have set for yourself. You don't really have to think about this anymore. At some point, those habits uh, become naturally. You just get up earlier, you do your exercises, you drink water whenever you move up from your desk or whatever it might be. There are so many habits that you could incorporate that uh, help you to be better, live a healthier life, become a better developer. And I think focusing on establishing these habits and just changing your life to be in general more productive towards things you want to achieve and towards the bigger picture and the person you want to be is uh, a lot more reasonable than making those huge plans and then failing just after a few weeks. Wisdom number four is do the things that others don't do so you can do what others can't do. So many years ago, um, when I got out of university, I was playing a lot of games. And in general, let's be honest, playing games is cool and I still enjoy it. But today I don't have really a lot of time to play games anymore. And back then I was also playing a lot of games and then I started my blog. And suddenly I had a different aspect in my life that I wanted to work towards. While the others met online to play Dota or whatever it might have been, I was actually writing blogs, composing tutorials, recording videos and doing the things that don't really look sexy on the outside and they weren't of course. But doing the things back then that the others didn't do while they were playing and enjoying the free time helped me to do now things that they basically never do. So from the clock on my cupboard next to my bed you can see that I'm lying here recording a video in my bed at around noon while the others might have a lunch break at their job. So always understand that at some point in your life you might sacrifice a few things, you don't go out to party, you don't spend a lot of money on alcohol. Others will say well we miss you but remember that you were working towards a special goal. But a word of warning here. If you follow this advice too strictly and basically deny every like social event, um, playing, any time to connect with your friends or important people in your life, this can also have a very negative effect. So you should always aim to uh, balance this um, like 80-20 perhaps, so in 80% of the times you should do the things that are important and move you forward in your life um, while the others are just watching Netflix, but you should still take time for them, for playing, for just relaxing your mind. These things are definitely important as well and I see some entrepreneurs, people in their early 20s so fired up by their startup that they're just focused on the job and I don't think that this is the right way. And then at some point in the future, once you've done the things that others don't have done, okay now it gets problematic with the times, then you can do in the future the things that others then can't do. So I hope you're not an English grammar teacher. All right, final wisdom of today's video. Be grateful every day. You've seen this before and I just wanted to highlight it one more time. I am not affiliated with this book or the creators and there are different versions, but this little journal helps me really to be grateful every morning. Every day it basically starts with something like I am grateful for. And when you start your day with three things you're grateful for, that sets a great tone for the day. And if you can watch this video right now, you're already pretty blessed because you got access to the internet, you can learn everything, you got access to like the biggest source of knowledge on this world. And there are so many other things that you can be grateful for. So I got this little board here with actually has some magnets so I don't know what kind of magic this is my wife put something on this uh, wooden thing and then it became magic and here I will collect some memories that I'm grateful for and some cool quotes of course as well I just know that I'm really blessed with a healthy child a family a house I'm self-employed and all of these things can be easily forgotten over time and that's why I try to focus on them every morning. Just be grateful for whatever is going on in your life. That's different for everyone and every day is different. There's really every day an opportunity to be grateful for something and this brings a lot of positivity to your life. I feel like when I'm positively excited or so, 
I can work a lot better than when I'm a bit negative and frustrated. In that case, I'm really not good at what I do. By setting the tone for the day in the right way, by being grateful for something in your life, you can start every day with the maximum amount of motivation, creativity, energy for whatever you plan to do or want to achieve on that specific day. All right, so these were the 30 minus 25 things I learned before turning, 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 for for for. I hope you enjoyed this a bit different episode today. Um, I don't want to share uh, the huge knowledge and perhaps I also forgot a few, uh, a few important things, but I feel like these five are simple things that everyone can incorporate in their life and that can have a really, really huge effect on the life of people. I would love to know what you think about these five wisdom tips, whatever you want to call them. And I will... Um, continue reading this nice little book I got from my mother actually because I was reading this when I was a child. I think I haven't read something like this in ages. I will go ahead and play a bit with my birthday gift and if you want to gift something to me just leave a nice comment below the video, refer a friend to this channel, to the Ionic Academy, support what I'm doing so I can stick with this for the next 30 years as well. Alrighty that's it. I will catch you next week with the same energy now with a three in front of my ears no problem for me same energy although my my back really hurts like ah since one week um i don't know if this is because of the age but i will try to stay healthy you should do the same follow the five wisdoms leave more wisdoms below if you're already older than me which are i guess a lot of people on this planet and then i will meet you next week like always without the pain hopefully so have a great week and happy coding, Simon. <laughs>